Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today we're going to take the pontoon boat over to Blue Marsh Lake and do the motor break-in process on the 20-horse four-stroke Mercury. Okay, we made it to Blue Marsh. We backed the pontoon boat into the lake with no issues. And now we're going to start that motor break-in process for the Mercury. There she is. Water looks pretty clear. Assisting me today is Mr. John Duncan. Let's see how she does. All right, got your line tied, right? That's good. I'm gonna lift this up so it's not in our way. We un unhitch it here. We unhitch it here. So that's how easy that is to, to get out of the way two clicks and we're there. All right, let's check this motor. We want to always make sure that it's pumping water and we see it's pumping water nice. So we're gonna leave the dock, everything looks good. It's running great. We're gonna untie the lines and start our break-in process. Okay, we're gonna leave the dock. Motor fires right up. Back her on out of here. We're off for our test. We're gonna run it at various speeds and we'll check those speeds and see how we do. But so far I'm really pleased with the way the motor is operating. It's, it's you know, started right up, we didn't have any issues with it. Pumping water, check that right away. So really nice, really nice setup we got here. I think those kids, uh, their first experience fishing off of a boat on a lake is gonna be a good one and it's gonna make them lifetime outdoor enthusiasts. So I really wanna thank the PA Fish and Boat Commission for the R3 grant program in providing the funding along with Alvernia University and the Alvernia Fishing Club and RMA Club. Really gonna make a difference in people's lives with this boat. Again, this is a boat that we acquired through Alvernia University a Fishing Club with a grant from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission to take uh, middle school inner city kids out on the lake fishing. So we're getting it all ready so we can start that program. So the first thing we gotta do is break this motor. It is a smooth running motor, I'll say that. Uh, of course, the last 18 foot pontoon boat I had, I had a 50 horse on. <laughs> this only has a 20. But I uh, should get the job done. So we'll see how she does. So the Hummingbird Depth Finder is showing us uh, roughly 39 feet of water, 69 degrees. Right now I'm running just under 3,000 RPMs. Put 20 gallons of fuel in there, it's a 38 gallon tank. The horn works, and we know the, the, lake, the lights work. So we'll run this for a little bit, see how she does. We're just running at different speeds, various RPM levels, and then we'll have to run full throttle for a minute, and then we pull back again. It's all part of the break-in process. But you can see, nice, calm day out here at Blue Marsh Lake 
in Berks County, Pennsylvania. Okay, so at uh, 2200 RPMs, we're going 4.3 miles per hour. You see, uh, fluctuates a little bit. So now we're gonna go up to 3000 RPMs and see what it is there. At 3,000 RPMs, we are going about 5.2, 5.3 miles per hour. Blue Heron. Four thousand RPMs. We are going six point three miles per hour. At 5,000 RPMs, we are going 8.9, 9 miles per hour, 8.9 miles per hour at 5,000 RPMs. Wide open, about 6,000 RPMs, we are going 11.9, just hit 12 miles per hour. 12.1 miles per hour, 12 miles per hour at wide open throttle. So with a 20 horse, it's definitely not a speed demon, but in the smaller lakes uh, that have 20 horsepower limits, it's gonna do fine. And for the intended purpose of this bow, which is to take kids out and introduce them to fishing on a lake, uh, this is going to be fine uh, getting us around on the lake. So really pleased with uh, the performance when I had my other bass buggy. By the way, this is an 18-foot DLX bass buggy uh, pontoon boat. So a 20 horse on there getting uh, 12 miles an hour is pretty good. When I had my 50 horse on my bass buggy, I could get about 28 miles an hour wide open with a 50 on it. So you could ski and tube and do stuff like that behind it. Obviously this boat is, that's not the intended purpose of this boat, so we don't need the extra horsepower. All right, so we're gonna continue testing things. And what we're gonna test next is the, uh, the aerators and the, the tank fills for the live wells. There's two live wells on this boat and we wanna make sure they work. So we're gonna check those out. So this is the front live well. This would be the live well that would service folks that are fishing up front. And we leave this stop in here and that allows the water to fill up and then drain out. When you wanna drain it, you just take this out and then all the water drains out. So we're gonna put that in there and give that one a test. Here is the stern live well. We have this set up, same method. We just unscrew that to let the water drain out. There we see filling up. You see that one filling up. And these tanks up here, these storage units are dry. Monarch, Flutterfly. I don't know why they're not called Flutterbys. Just wanna make sure that that drain can handle the amount of water that is coming in. You know, it'll come over the top if it can't, so that's what we're verifying. So we know the live wells work well, the pump is uh, sized properly so that it doesn't uh, you know, flood uh, overflow that the, the uh, reservoir so now we can shut that down and drain it 
Okay, so that tank is drained. Put that back in there. You could also use this as a cooler if you're not using live baits. Motor's running well. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, straighten them. Yeah, that's good. Keep go keep coming around. Yeah, like that. Here you can see a little turtle out here in Blue Marsh. Just give it one kick in the forward. Forward. Yeah. Neutral. Yeah, right there. There is a little turtle. You never know what you're gonna see on Blue Marsh. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video, and give the video a thumbs up. That helps other people see our videos. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.